Nearly 150 years ago, when railway tracks were being laid down for the first time in Punjab, in this part, which now comes under Pakistan, engineers stumbled upon an ancient site. They didn't realize that this was the Indus Valley Civilization or the Harappan Civilization. They just thought that they had found a great source of well-made, ready-made bricks and decided to use them for their railway line construction. This was the Indus Valley Civilization. And now we're going to see how this civilization came into existence. Now imagine it's the year 2500 BCE and you are traveling along with your family and a bunch of people called nomads from one place to the other. Your throat feels so dry now. You've been searching for water. Every time you find a good source of water, after a few seasons, it dries up and then you and your family and the nomads have to travel to a new place in search of food and water. Suddenly, you see a river. You run towards it. And as you're close to it, you slip. Ah, this mud, it feels so wet. Maybe houses can be built using the same mud. Well, your family and all the people seem very happy to have found such a great source of water. So now you play by the river and the houses are built. So how do you think a civilization starts? Well, to build a city, you can see these people now have found a great source of water and they can also use this water for farming. Apart from that, you will notice that these people have also started trade. You can see shops selling pots, right? So you've gone to your school and you've seen walls around it, right? These walls are there for your protection. These can regulate who comes in and who goes out, right? So similarly, these people are now safe from these wild animals. So we understand that protection is a priority in building a city. This is how a civilization starts and grows. Similarly, the Indus Valley Civilization or the Harappan Civilization came to existence around 4,500 years ago between 2,500 BCE and 1500 BCE. But where did it start? Well, it started in the Indian subcontinent along the banks of Indus River and its several tributaries. Can you see that? Well, let's move forward. This was one of the first urban civilizations in the whole world and the most important cities of this civilization were Harappa and Mohenjo-Daro. This is exactly why this civilization is also known as Harappan civilization often times. Then other important cities included Rupar or Ropar, which is in present day Punjab, Kalibangan, which is in present day Rajasthan, and Lothal, Rangpur, and Dholavira, which are presently in Gujarat. Now let's take a virtual tour of how a city in this civilization looked like. Take a look at this video. Well, this is what we call a citadel. It is properly fortified and built on a higher ground so that people can be saved even with, from wars and floods. This citadel complex included important buildings such as the granaries, the great bath and even a big hall for annual functions. Well, this is the lower part of the town where the common people like you and me would have lived. Look at how well planned this city is and the houses were made of bricks and were either single storied or multi storied. So, with this we come to town planning and first thing we see from this civilization is that the cities were divided into two halves. One was the citadel and two was the lower town where the common people lived. These were one of the best planned urban civilizations in the whole world during that Bronze Age, right? And it was divided, as we found out, into citadels and lower towns. Now, let's talk about the citadel. Well, this was the most important part of town and all the important buildings were here, such as the temples, the storehouses, the granaries, and people who were important also lived in this area, such as the kings and the priests. So take a look at this picture. It's from an actual site 
from this civilization. Next, the great bath at Mohenjo-daro. Take a look at this picture. Doesn't it look like a pool? Well, this is the great bath that has been found from Mohenjo-daro and it was a part of the large citadel complex. Imagine a pool 4,500 years ago. Well, it was made in such a way that the water could not seep through these bricks. Apart from that, there were also several changing rooms available. Then there were stairs from which you could descend to the pool and there were wells and pipes attached so that fresh clean water could come into the pool and dirty water could leave easily. These pools were mostly used for ritual purposes. Another important part of the citadel were these granaries, right? So why were the granaries so important? Well, the granaries acted as the storehouses. So during any natural calamity, these storehouses filled with food could be used by the lower townspeople and also could be used by all of the civilization. In fact, it was so important that as many as six granaries have been found in Harappa, whereas the biggest building present there in Mohenjo-daro was also their granary. Well, so we have found out that these granaries basically acted as storehouses for these people. Now, can you answer the question, the granaries were built on top of the A, citadel or B, the lower town? Well, the correct answer is A, citadel. Now, let's move on and see the town hall, which was another important part of the citadel complex. Now, these town halls served a variety of different purposes. These acted as assembly halls, prayer halls, and a place to hold cultural events. These town halls were even used by the kings to demonstrate their powers. So now that we are done talking about the citadel, let's take a look at their lower town. So this is where people like you and me lived. This clip has been taken from a famous movie called Mohenjo-daro. Take a look at these houses. They were made of bricks and had wooden doors. Apart from that, the cities were divided into rectangular blocks with streets cutting into each other at 90 degree angles. Then the houses and, store, the houses and shops were built on both the sides of the roads and were either single storied or multi storied. These were one of the most well planned cities of this civilization. So now, another important part of these cities was their drainage system. Can you believe 4,500 years ago, people had covered drainage system? Well, these had covered drains which ran along the main streets. Take a look at this picture here. This right here is a drain. And the houses built in this civilization had tilted floors in their bathrooms and their kitchens so that the wastewater could easily reach these drains. If you notice clearly, these drains run along the main roads and can be seen everywhere. So we can understand how much importance was given to cleanliness even at that age. With this, we can understand that these people were really advanced for that age and that is the reason why people are still learning about it today. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free on deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app and get easy access to more than 5,000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step-by-step -step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubts resolved instantly. Learn via games and get a chance to win amazing prizes like Playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, Learning is not just fun and easy, it's rewarding too. So register for free now.